Good morning, folks. We need to start off with some good news. First, the Chinese astronauts have safely returned to Earth after taking Shenzhou 9 up to meet the Tiangong space station. This would be nice, replacing desert with forests. Touche, Earth. It's about all the good news I have. Delta IV secret space rockets launched this morning. Nobody knows what the payload is. This is a good article on a new Mayan artifact calling out December 21st, 2012. Important to note, Mayans do not call this doomsday but the renewal of a cycle. Yes, it's one many of you are afraid of, but it is one that many ancient people were left alive to tell us about last time. Take solace in that fact. This is a nice little snippet of Debbie's effect on the US Southeast. I did not think an X3 million class solar flare was possible. Yes, that's a million times stronger than big ones from our sun. The record we've recorded here was between X28 and X35, not Earth directed, back in 2003. No regular two minute news watcher should be surprised here. Star water resides in the bosom of Titan, potentially all the way around it. If you were in the US heat yesterday, holy crap. Hottest day for my city in 20 years, it sucked and it's gonna be worse today. But the primary concern, 750 earthquakes since June 25th, all within the harmonic tremor depth indicative of magma movement. In four days, the island has bulged five centimeters, which doesn't necessarily sound like a lot, but that's geologically asinine. The largest quake has been a 4.0 and they continue to move south. By the way, there is no Atlantic Coast tsunami system. Well, the M flares began about 12 hours after I thought they would, but the sun has not settled since. First, the M flare and eruption from up north. After that, a filament ripped off the southwestern limb, followed by Big Mama pumping out ejecta as sea flares crackle. She has the scariest magnetic complexity by far, beta gamma, with two areas developing delta potential, and the Earth uh, footprint is right on top of it, meaning more flares could bring earthly radiation storms. We actually just had another M flare, images not up yet. Oh yeah, and there's a giant coronal hole pointing right at us. The solar watch is on, folks. That's the news. Be safe.